similar vibe, actually, isn't it? It's kind of this sort of wistful, but also slightly mournful kind of vibe. And a funny little mushroom lamp on this train. I kind of don't like the face on that wiggling doll, though. <laughs> it looks a bit like the troll face. Oh, and then there's two little lamps and creepy eyes. Maybe we'll collect more stuff to put on the shelf, like an elf. Thanks very much, Drainzer Star 1124 for the two years of consecutive subscribership. Actually, I don't know if it's consecutive, but two years of sub subscribership regardless. So there are our credits, of course. You know, one handy thing about doing the weird game segment is pretty much every game I play on it is games and demos section, so I never really have to update my category. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but not usually. Thank you also, the Spiteful Crow, for the 25 months. Welcome back. This shouldn't be particularly long or anything, but I think it might be enjoyable regardless. Oh, look how pretty. It's very laggy, though. Great transition with the eye blink. What's going on with the lag? Turn off V-Sync. I don't know why, but sometimes V-Sync messes things up. Yeah, I think that actually was the problem. Also, it's very low sensitivity. I think that's a better... Alright, so this is a rather short but beautiful uh, platformer where we can actually grow and shrink objects that we look at to help our traversal through the landscape. It's got a kind of a ethereal, dreamy nature to it, so I'm just skipping through and take a look at what we've- Whoa! Whoa, God! That was... <laughs> that was a little much. Oh! Okay, it changes the viewpoint, but it doesn't change where you're walking. Goodness gracious, what on earth in Zindiary? With a massive 10 gift subs. Thank you so much for that in Zindiary, that's incredibly generous. Yeah, we seem to be doing some prancing, it looks like. How do I get over there? I'm feeling big happy today. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Am I misunderstanding this? It seems like they want me to expand this, but that seems to be as large as it goes. Oh, that also expands. That's too far to jump, though. Surely. There's something else I can expand? Okay, don't look up, apparently. It seems to destroy the frame rate if you look up. Oh, there's little rock bits out there can expand, too. But, like, only once? I'm already stuck. <laughs> it's the first scene. Maybe I'm just not meant to go that way. Oh, what on earth? Hold... Right click. Oh, that's what I was doing already. Yeah, it's just an elevator, basically. I think it's there's there's a filter over everything, which is perhaps making the frame rate a bit low. You can kind of see everything's got that washed out. I don't know what do you call that? It's like a watercolor vibe to it. Maybe it's a post processing effect that's high on resource intensiveness. Looks like I found a collectible. That's nice. 
Oh god. Okay, when I turn my character around, it's just too much. Let's see if we can lower that. Pretty sure I had it set to medi or big before. You know, it kind of stutters when you turn around. And now that the frame rate seems to be higher, the sensitivity is too high? Jeez. <laughs> You run into this kind of stuff from time to time, it's just... everything's a little bit silly. Well, yeah, I would think that my graphics card would be able to handle it as well, but maybe there's an optimization issue and... I don't know, could be some kind of... mesh that exists that shouldn't, that's got some kind of ridiculous one billion polygon face embedded in the sky. Now I actually turned V-Sync off because it was making it worse. Oh, this is nice. This is very calming as well. It's like hypnosis hour. Infinite polygons. One day. Whoa. Do I want to fall? Like cotton alley down on the ground. Slash clouds. So it seems like they mostly just want you to make objects bigger. We haven't really needed to strategically shrink much. What's happening behind me? Oh. That's very pretty. Maybe that's what's doing it. Could it be that there's like multiple blending effects <clears throat> colliding together and creating like a very computationally dense shader thing? Yeah, maybe they simulated all of the elements in the periodic table and every atom therein. I remember a game did that once. It's really surprising they didn't get very much fanfare for it at all. You'd think that would be a big achievement in the industry, but no, nope, everybody just kind of shrugged it off and moved on. I did build the computer with the, the help of Rumble Muffin, yeah. Ah! Oh no. Are we supposed to be on the bottom of the stairs? Oh. Oh, that one gets very large. I think it's gonna take us all the way over there. Oh, there's also one on that side. I do remember that tech demo, yeah, where you could see all the grains of dirt. What the hell was that? It was like a, a new rendering process or something that was being trialed out. They basically said that through the use of this technique that they were able to get seemingly infinite meshes.
So I guess I fell to the bottom of the world <laughs> for some reason. It just kind of happens in games a lot. Oh. Oh, can I do like an Ant-Man and pack up a building and carry it with me? That would be fun. Oh, it's a platform to jump off of, I see. I like my idea, too, though. Imagine a folding world where... Oh. It doesn't work now? Oh, I guess I have to jump at the same time. Where you incrementally build small things and then they... They can shrink back down, and then you put them into larger things and keep building out from there. Wait a minute. I didn't realize it could open twice. Oh, that's pretty. So you could build all of these rooms, right? And then fit them into a house, and then shrink the house down to fit it into... A model town? I guess it works better if you start from large and work downward. I want to get that collectible, though. Maybe you have to fall one down and then go up higher again. Doesn't look like there's any other stuff here. Oh, or maybe that whole thing was just to get me to get that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it was, actually. That one memory. Kleenex. This is cool. Oh. You shrink the rocks and then the water can break through. Well, that's kind of smart. That's a much more interesting use than, like, everything just needs to be expanded. second game of the evening. The first game was a gotchapon machine full of life lessons and memories. And this one is called Aurore. A-U-R-O-R-E. Yeah, this is Midna's origin story. I guess I can shrink this to make the weights change place. Well, shrink this, rather. Oh, but it only seems to go that far. And also, I don't think it's connected to anything. Okay, we want it as a platform, huh? Why do I keep doing that backward? <laughs> no. Oh, we're gonna make the water go even higher. Surprisingly good music to this, too. There's some very subtle, like, scratchy sound happening in the left audio channel, and it's 
so subtle it sounds kind of like a crying dog or something. I don't know if it's particularly audible. Oh, wow. Big moon equals big swoon. I want a bigger moon, not a smaller one, but I guess we have to. Two days remain. Three days remain. Five days remain. I thought there was going to be one more big climactic thing, but I guess that was the thing. Shrink the moon. Maybe we needed to do that? Either that or we're like a malicious spirit. Wait, oh, I, I didn't know I could move. I couldn't move the camera, so I thought I couldn't move at all. That was pretty well done. I knew it was going to be on the very short side, but still neat. Can you imagine putting this much work into something like this and, well... I was going to say, I guess, knowing that not a lot of people or hardly anyone is going to ever play it... But on the other hand, a lot of the time these things are done for game jams or student experience or... ...kind of just to get your own creativity out. So maybe it's really not as big of a deal. But it does feel like a bit of a shame that there's so much great stuff just just spattered everywhere, just hidden. And very few people looking for it. So many hours of work have gone into things that just kind of get pushed aside for, you know, Gears of War 5 and whatnot. <laughs> 